Before I do anything on this vehicle, I'm gonna pop off that service tag right here, right? Um, switch. I'm gonna pop it down. I'm gonna raise it up like this. I'm gonna take it off. Seeing that this is a high voltage vehicle, right, which these orange lines represent, I'm gonna pop off the service port, which is under here. Tie right here, right, um, switch. I'm gonna pop it down. I'm gonna raise it up like this. I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna keep this with me, right, to make sure that nobody, um, no one energize up this car when I'm working so once this this stays in my pocket right until the job is finished okay so that's the first thing you do you gotta make sure and remove this safety lock right this has a fuse in it right so once the fuse is out it's act like a breaker so once that out you not worry about anything you just need the energize a little bit and I'll show you how to check that before you do anything right I'm um, sorry about the noise in the background. Got some other jobs going on, so let's move to the front of the vehicle. With the safety plug off, I can start to disassemble like this cross member bar, and um, you know I could probably just drain the coolant real quick, right? Um, I will before I do anything, I have to take out the intermediate locks, also, right? Before I start to work on this and do my checks to make sure that I have no voltage in here, right? So let me do that in the meantime um, while this de-energize. So I gotta do this on the ground. I'm gonna jack this vehicle up one side of, at a time. Drain the coolant for the inverter by the meantime. So let me just finish, prop this up, and then I'll start back to show you what I did. All right, so with the vehicle on jack stands, as I said, we don't have the luxury of having a lift. So we gotta do it like this for now. I'm going to go in the vehicle, drain the coolant, drain the transmission oil, and remove the inverter converter, right? So, let me just set you up underneath. Alright, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to take off this um, under shield, right? So this plug here is for the inverter. The next one on the radiator is for the, the radiator, but... If you want, you can put a clear hose here and just let it drain down. I could do that. Matter of fact, I might do that. So the helper boy here, we're going to drain the coolant from this line, which is the inverter. So let's crack it. Normally, I just run out like a clear hose. But in this case, we could just let it run. See if we can, um, not too much here. That good. Let me bring it straight up. So just leave it there, let it drain on its own. The cross member removed. I'm going to move the interlock um, covers, right? And as I said, I want to just do my checks real quick to make sure that that this um, battery is discharged in the back before I attempt to go into this, right? So I got to pop off these 10 bolts here. I'm just slacking the release up. Releasing all these bolts on top of this cover. I'm not taking them out, I'm just releasing them. Right. So, with that release, I'm going to take them back, take off these covers, I'm just going to replace the bolts. So when you lift this, this cover off, you have to lift this one off first. You cannot try to bend this back, right? So you gotta lift this off first. And you see this yellow, this white tab here? This locks into that. That's, so this is one of the safety features, showing that when you remove this, it automatically kills the, the power, right? So this is one of the interlocks here. We're gonna release these bolts also here, right? And the same thing on this side. Uh, Release all the bolts off this cover and move it out. I'm gonna get my multimeter and just double check to make sure I'm not getting any voltage coming out from this port. 
this is the one coming straight from the battery this is from mg1 and this is from mg2 all right so i gotta make sure that i'm not getting no voltage coming out from these um these cables right here all right so this clip tool i was able to pry off this one and this one on the side right and this cover that's come straight up so what i'm going i need to get access to the this disconnect the harness going to it all right and then i'm going to release all the bolts around it as i said release the coolant lines and remove this cover right you just gotta as i said you get the clip tool and you just gently remove them and the one is sorry about that the one that's on the the inverter coolant hose you just prise it off i just remove this cover from here right you just remove the tab with one of these um clip tools right make sure that you try not to damage the client stuff right and just gently remove it and you can put that to the side right um to be on the safe side too what i do is tend to is to put these back right um you just catch it back up you don't need to actually uh, tighten it or anything just make sure you put it back where it belongs so at least you keep track of the bolts or unless you have a magnet um you know a magnet mat you could just catch it there but i tend to put it back where it belongs so you don't got to worry about you know misplacing them all right so let me just put these things back up real quick you can stay there it's not gonna fall it's not gonna drop in just make sure you catch a few treads a few treads i mean sorry before you you know we move away you don't want anything to fall in the inverter where you have to go into because this is a um, seal unit it's kind of sealed very good so just make sure you run these up real quick all right so next thing i'm going to do i'm going to disconnect this harness and also this um after disconnect this bolt here to pull this out right so let me just get that done oh matter of fact sorry about that i didn't know um, right, so on this side, you have the engine harness, right? You have the engine harness, and this where this black cover was here, right? This piece had the hose, and this was basically keeping the harness intact, right? Oh, well, in place. So I'm going to release this bolt on top here, right? Coming off the battery, and then I'm going to pop this off, and I'm going to release the harness. That's what I'm going to do on that side trying to see if I can get you a close-up but it's let's see if I can go in a little bit more yeah I'm just trying to do this in the night so just bear with me real quick so this is how you remove the inverter converter on a Toyota um, Axio um, same thing is on the Pyrrhus um, 3 generation 3 the Pyrrhus C the you call it this is also on the feeler right all right so with the same tool of flathead screwdriver you just get between this gray tab here and you just gently press on it and this tab will come up like this and you just once it comes up straight then you could pull this on this out that's why I released this cable here all right and this this harness comes straight out right so you just lay this to the side like this out of the way and you're good to go you don't have to do anything else here right as i said i'm gonna release these bolts on top and pull back on the mg1 mg2 and the harness for the battery right and the next one that goes to the down to the east um transmission all right so you just come here you just, you just, let release the bolt like this. Alright, so this is U, V, and W. Or MG1, MG2. Alright. So you just pop that off. Just take your time and make sure that you know you don't fall. Remove this here, this tab. Just remove that like that and then you just 
wiggle this out and you pull this out if you want you can put tape on it but it's been discharged for a while so I'm just gonna press it to the side some people like to put tape on it and all that but good stuff but if, if you want you could put some tape on it just to be on the safe side matter of fact sorry for laying that touch let me get some tape or something like that too. Just to secure, make sure that it's cool, right? You don't have to, right? If you don't want to, normally what I do is when I release these bolts here, all right, I get access to on the back bracket where I can remove it, but that's just, that's not doing anything. It's been just charged for a while, so I have no voltage going through it right now. I ain't got to worry about that. As I said, I'm just, the ones that I took over before, I'm just going to rest it back in. So I make sure that it's secure. Right? Let's give you a, get a close up real quick. Yeah, some might say, hey, why you don't got gloves on and all that good stuff? That's kind of overkill right now because the vehicle is, has been discharged. So I don't need to wear that big orange gloves at the moment. Alright, so with the two bolts removed from here, from this plate inside here, and two out here, just, just rock these back like this. As I said, it's been discharged. Matter of fact, before I do that, let's um, take the stress off the cable by releasing this, this tab under here. Real quick, hold on real quick, let me just get more pliers to get to it. So you just lift this up like that. All right, so that just take the stress off this cable. All right, so you can just pull this back like this and just rest it to the side. Nothing's gonna happen, it's been discharged. I'm just resting it to the side. All right, so next thing I'm gonna do is remove MG1 and MG2 also, but also I can I take off this uh, bracket in the back here that's holding on to this orange cable here. And as I said, once you remove it, you just put it back in place so at least you know where it came from. So let's remove MG1. Now, in fact, to be on the safe side, we're gonna take these off. Because one time I remember um, one had to fell in. All is the same boat, so you can't mix it up. Same size bolt. So it's gonna take these out all the way. All right, so I'm gonna just do the same thing again. Oh, I'm sorry about that. All the same size bolt. You can't mix it up. All right, so you just. Put it out, give it a nice little tug because it have the safety seal on it and rest it to the side. That's all you do. Alright, do the same thing to MG2. Just rock it a little bit, it come straight out and rest it to the side. That's all you do. Right, so there's one and two, they're out. So the next thing we're going to do is pop off the, while the coolant is draining, pop off the discharge and suction for the in, inverter. You just use a pick or a little position screwdriver, get under it, make sure. Right, so this is the 
the second hole that you gotta just get under and just raise it up real quick. Okay, make sure the tab is up and just get it. Alright, so you can make sure it's up and then as I said you just pop it off a little bit and make sure no coolant goes into this area. Right, to be on the safe side if you want, you can just rest a, a rag on it. So what else do I need to do to get him out? Actually, he's almost out. So I'm just gonna double check all my connections, make sure it's all clear before I lift him out. I'm gonna remove the bolts on the inverter, the hold on bolts. All right, one. That, that's the next one. Try not to mix the bolts up. All right, so what you gotta do next is just pop this little tab up, pull this cable out. All right on this corner has a little tab here, and this little tab you just pull it back up a little bit, and you slide this out like this. All right, so you, once you get this protection off, all right, you use a if you want to use an impact or something like that, you could, but you could just pop it off like this. And that comes with, that comes out with the inverter, right? You can just rest the, the bolt, the nut back on, so you don't lose it, right? So it's ready to go. So that whole, that whole thing comes straight out, right? So um, this could stay like that for now because you're not going to touch this. And let's see what else we could uh, remove before we pull this out. Stop. So everything else is removed before I lift this up, right? So what you're gonna do is just make sure all the cables are off, all the hoses released, right? And you just hoist it up, make sure nothing is holding back. And just lift this out like this. And that's the inverter out. Right, so we're gonna rest it on the table. Right. So we got the inverter out. So we're just gonna secure it and make sure that nothing goes into it, nothing damage it. And then, well, we'll pull it back up after we replace the transmission.